There's one. Yeah, perfect cast. Perfect cast and a nice bass. Come on in here, biggin. Oh, good looking bass here. For this video, guys, I'm throwing a 7 inch Berkeley Power Bait Power Worm. It is arguably the best 7 inch curly tail soft plastic worm on the market. I'm fishing pre spawn conditions. And I'm going to throw this on a lot of, I'm going to fish a lot of shorelines. This shoreline you can see got a lot of nice overhanging trees. And uh, so I'm going to fish some points, shorelines, docks, leading into the bays and coves and inlets. I'm probably not going to fish in the bays and coves too much today because a lot of the bass seem to be on the, the main lake points or the deeper shorelines just before you get into uh, the bays and coves. Um, so I'm going to try to fish some of these shorelines. It's only a foot or two deep right up along the bank, but then it drops down to like 8 to 10 feet of water here. This is a great spot to catch bass. Especially in the springtime, we got water temperatures in the low 60s. I'm not sure if the better bite's going to be up shallow or a little bit deeper. But the areas that I'm going to fish today are going to have some decent drop-offs so I can fish shallow water and deep water. There's one. Another bass, number two. Number two. Here we go. That's another bass. That seems like I'm catching them all up. A little bit shallower, but in that two to four foot range. Another decent one. This worm really is a confidence bait for me. When in doubt, I throw a seven inch power worm. There's a really good chance I'm gonna catch some bass. So I'm just working this bait pretty slow along the bottom, just kind of hopping it up and down. Dragging it along. I'm making a lot of casts in here and I'm covering a shoreline pretty quick. But I'm actually fishing the bait in the water pretty slow. I'm casting it up into the shoreline and then dragging it out. Since a lot of the bites I'm getting are a little bit shallower, I'm not fishing this bait down at 10, 12, 14 feet of water like I could because the shoreline drops off pretty quick. Seems like there's a pretty good bite going right now in that first two to four foot range. So once I get that bait out of that range, I'm bringing it back in, casting it back out again, and working it along. All right, I ran this shoreline once already. A little bit quicker than I wanted to run it. I was just letting the wind carry me down. I think I caught three or four bass. Uh, I missed one or two also. And I'm just going to hit it again. Uh, there's so many spots to cover along the shoreline that I'm sure I missed a few bass. Oh, here's one already. First cast. Nice. Nice. Sometimes just giving the bass a second chance to see the worm will get you a bite. And with how quick I covered the this shoreline the first time, there's so many spots I missed. So I'm going to hit it again to show you how many bass you can catch with this. Berkeley power worm. There's one. I'm still biting. I've had a bite in about a half hour, but it's a good sign. I'm going to keep plugging along here. Good one here. Yeah. Another good bass, man. Just keep moving along, moving along. I'm going with the purple and black worm now. I started out with the black power worm today. They both work. Sometimes when the bite slows down, I just like to change colors. 
That's two bites in the last like two minutes though. I'm pumped. This one works really well. Another solid bass. And this worm just works really, really well. Come here, buddy. Well, this fish is gonna wrap up this video, guys. Berkeley Power Bait, seven inch power worm. One of my go-to baits when I wanna put some bass in the boat.